once you've created your contest, you have to give it a link. And the premium version is what unlocks all the functionality that will work um, with the um, APIs, the programming interfaces where you can communicate directly with Twitter and with YouTube um, and uh, soon to be Facebook. But um, the API functions do not work in the basic or light version of um, Contest Burner. Those are features that are activated by turning on the premium version. So depending upon if you're premium or not, you'll see different options here. But then you click Add Link, and then we actually set up links. Now what these links are, the, these are, are the links that your contestants have to go spread out on the Internet to win prizes. And they can do this by referring it to friends, by e via email, by IM, um, whatever they want. And what ends up happening is your contestants end up with a personalized contest link and it's going to point to the page that you want it to point to. And I'll show you how you set that up. So we're going to assign it here. We have, since I have premium activated, I have multiple contests. So we're going to assign it to that test contest I just set up. This here, link path, this is what you want, what you want the link to look like. And I'll give you an example here. So I'm going to say, uh, I want it to be slash car. And what that's going to end up doing, and let me give you just a, a real example here, is if you put slash car, your contestants' links are going to look like this. If you can see up here, and I'll just make this up. So you see up here in the top, it says www.contestburner.com slash car, and then it would be followed by their username. So that's what your contestants' links are going to look like. And that's, so that's what this setting does. It, it, it makes a little folder here, a little directory, and you can name it anything you want. Slash car, slash C, slash Z, slash A, whatever you want it to be. I try to make it very short so that you don't make your, so your links don't end up being too long. I like to make them one or two characters, so I'll do things like, you know, I'll just use slash C or slash C1 or slash C2. Um, but you can make it anything you want. So in this case, I'm going to go slash car. Description of this link. Um, you know, uh, you, you can describe what this link is. And uh, we're going to say refer. Whoops. For people to our new car page. Forgive me, I'm typing with one hand here. Um, Twitter text, this is what our one-click posting that makes people be able to, with one click, post directly to um, Twitter and to Facebook. This is where you assign what you want that text to be. I'm just going to mess around here. You would make that something promotional, like um, check out our new cars and get a chance to win $55,000. Well, you know, you make this promotional. This is what all the public is going to see. This is the message that your contestants are going to spread out on the Internet for you. You can make your Twitter one different than your Facebook one. Um, I'm just going to make them the same for the purpose of this um, demonstration. Now, here is... Um, the place where you're, you're telling Contest Burner where you want the users to go. So when your contestants go out and promote their link, you know, the slash car slash then username, the, the link that they're going to spread out in, on the Internet for you, where do you want that to redirect to? So that your users will go out and spread the link. And then where do you want it to go? Do you want it to go to your home page? Do you want it to go to a particular blog post on your website? Do you want it to go to a, a special page on your site? This is where you get a chance to do that. And then, you know, and you should always try to make a special page. And you can do that with the WordPress functionality, just new page. So I like to make a page specifically talking about and promoting the contest and the rules. And that's often a good place to point 
your contest links to. I've seen other people do some creative stuff where they're linking to product pages um, or other things that they want to promote. Uh, and then here you can specify how many points this link gets them. And they'll get a point for every click they get on their unique contest link. So, you know, if somebody who has a username of, you know, King XYZ out on Twitter signs up to your contest, they'll have a link that says, you know, domain.com slash car slash, um, I forgot what I said the username was, but we'll say, uh, well, it'll just be their Twitter username. So it'd be, you know, domain.com slash car slash Twitter username is what they are, uh, it would look kind of like that. That's what the, the uh, public will see when your contestants are spreading the message. And then when the out in the public, when someone clicks on your contest links, it's going to redirect them to, your, to this, whatever you put here, whether it's a contest page, a post, whatever. And every click is going to give them one point or two points. We'll make it, actually, let's make it three points. So every unique click that a contestant in this contest makes is going to get three points. And we can add that link. And you'll see if we scroll down. There we go. And the link is attached there. Now, in the settings page, if you um, you can go back into the settings page and change where, like you'll notice right now, I have comments awarding points in this contest. So we could, when this contest ends, I could go into settings over here under settings and change that for under the blog comments section to whichever contest I wanted. So I could change it to the test contest. I'm not going to do that because I have a contest running already uh, that I don't want to interfere with. But here you'll see this is the contest we set up. We have one link. We could add another link. Like sometimes I'll create one link that lets my contestants promote my website in general and then a second link that lets them promote the contest directly. So, you know, I'll put my, I'll create one general link that points to my home page, and then I'll create a second link, you know, just add link, it'll make a second link. So then I would create a second pay, a second link, I call this car two, and, you know, I'm just going to fill this out. You would spend more time describing this so your contestants see exactly what this is. And if I wanted to send it to the home page, I just put a single slash, just like that. And let's say I want to make this one five points per click. Then I hit add link. And now I have two. If we scroll down here, you'll see I have two links. One is going to point to my contest page, and one is now going to point to my, my home page.